Hi, Pexians. At last, no more walking around large mountain ranges to get from our favorite mining areas to our home. Our beloved world is having a facelift. What does that mean for our beloved communities? Watch to find out. You don't want to miss anything. We are having our first verse, or content update for you non-Pexians out there. This is being released on the November the 5th at 9am UTC time. But what does this mean for our castles, homes and communities? The sweat and toil we put into constructing magnificent castles, the small hamlets and the large villages. Well, a lot actually. The world is going to be reset. But before we all throw down our tools and run to the uninstall button, we are getting a new world. One that is going to be reshaped, allowing for more open and a natural feel, making traversing our maps more of a delight than a chore. Yeah. It will help encourage exploration and travel. I'll explain more of these changes in a future video. These changes are going to be quite big though. So this is requiring a completely redesign of the world map. So what does that mean for us? Number one, new shards. All our current shards will be removed and a new set of shards will be available after the update. These new shards will be Mimur and Artemis in the EU region, Apollo and Nyx in the NA region, and in the Southeast Asia region, there will be Nuedu. And at the same time, the geography of the game will be changing. There will be a new world to explore with new distribution of biomes and resources, as well as new PVE locations to discover. Second, our plots of resources. All plots will be white, active and inactive. But don't be discouraged though. Good news, we won't need to start over. A new system called Salvage Queue is being implemented between all our characters in the same region. This will contain all the equipment your character was wearing and the items in their inventory, all the furniture that was in their plots, all components used to craft building parts and crafters placed on your plots, all objects and containers placed on your plots, and all crafters on your plots and materials for each task. Only materials placed in crafters will be returned though. The finished product will not be returned even if the task is completed. It is important to note that you will only get the resources back that are on your plot. So it is important to delegate with your clan before the update, especially if you have members that are inactive as these resources will be lost. Third, our characters. You will be relieved that all our characters are unaffected by the wipe. They will retain their skills, gear and inventory after the maintenance. As said previously, gear and inventory will be moved to the salvage queue. You will need to choose though a new shard to continue playing and this shard has to be in the same region that your character was previously created. For example, if your character was previously on the EU shard, you will only be able to choose one of the new EU shards to continue playing. And finally, clans. All of our clans information will be arranged during the wipe. The names, organizations and all the members. If you do wish to continue playing together, please note you will need to recreate the clan on your new shard. So it is recommended that you discuss with your clan members to decide together on your new destination. I do hope this clarifies what will happen when Proving Ground is implemented. Please hit that like button and subscribe to keep up to date with more Pax Day content. And thank you for watching.